And new information for you tonight on that white, gritty substance that keeps falling from the sky onto cars and businesses. Two News investigates first exposed the issue months ago and found out it's still a problem. Tonight, Natalie Tindall explains why a local environmental agency is now ramping up its efforts to get that mystery muck under control. At first, Cargill thought it fixed the problem, but then the muck returned. Now, the Regional Air Pollution Control Agency, or RAPCA, is issuing this notice of violation, letting Cargill know this is a serious problem. This letter was delivered to Cargill last month after the white substance reappeared on cars in the area days after both Rapka and Cargill thought the problem had been fixed. The note asked the grain milling plant again to figure out where the white sodium sulfate or salt is coming from. Even though Rapka says it's not believed to be dangerous to human health in small amounts, the facility is still not allowed to emit it into the air. The notice of violation calls the repeated events a nuisance condition in the neighborhood, and Rapka wants the source identified and fixed permanently. Cargill responded and didn't fully admit responsibility, saying they're not 100% sure the substance is even coming from them. In the letter we obtained, the facility manager said he also doesn't agree it was a public nuisance. Regardless, he did lay out a few steps they will follow that will allow them to keep looking for possible sources at the facility. RAPCA leaders say the EPA is now involved, and it still believes Cargill is the source. They'll continue working with them to figure out where the salt is coming from and how to stop it from being released into the air. Now, the Ohio EPA and RAPCA do have the authority to issue fines and orders if the problem is not fixed. However, RAPCA leaders say they're not quite there yet. We'll keep you posted on the progress. Natalie Tendall, 2 News Investigates.